Oh, hello. Um, finally got round to doing my first piece to camera. Um, I'm here at Itang de la Botte, which is in the Champagne region of France. A uh, very picturesque 48 acre lake, stacked with loads of big carp, quite a few big cats and a few sturgeon. Um, I'm here courtesy of Dave Jordison, who's currently running trips out here at the moment, uh, doing a promo video for him at the same time. I'm also uh, managing to get the rods out and do a bit of fishing myself. The uh, reason why it's taken this long to, to get a, a piece done to camera is now Monday and we arrived here on Saturday is the, the action has been fast and furious uh, for most people that are fishing. Myself, I've had uh, seven carp and eight cats, uh, two 40 pound carp, one 40 pound common and a 43 and three quarter common, a couple of 30s uh, 120 and 17 pounds been the smallest fish so it's been absolutely fantastic fishing been using the monster squid uh, with a slight variation on it uh, which Dave Jordison recommended because he knows the lake very well uh, followed his recommendation and that, that's caught with the fish I'd like to say catching the fish has been a result of careful feature finding and very accurate baiting but in reality it hasn't it, it's come on a very simplistic tactic uh, casting pretty much into open water or towards showing fish um, which just goes to show that at times you really don't need to overcomplicate it that much and if there's somebody that knows the lake really well then do listen to their advice listen to what they've got to say because it, it's paid dividends dividends for me at the moment so uh, what might be a good idea is we have a little look at some of the fish we caught okay here we are first morning on Le Bot. First fish, it's got 28 pounds, lovely scaly mirror. There we go. Put up a real good fight this one. Nailed midwater on the good old monster squid. Let's get her back. Right, it's literally uh, 10 minutes since I put the rod back out after the last fish. And uh, it's, ra Whoa. it's rattled off again. Got this beautiful common, 31 pounds. Again on the monster squid. Let's check out the. Uh, Check out the gob on that sucker. No wonder he had room for me bait. Another cracking Lebot fish. It's getting back. Just had an absolute corker. Cast out a 15mm uh, a monster squid with uh, it's a black monster squid with the matching chain reactions just to a little uh, spot where it shallows up to four foot fairly close in about 20 yards out and an absolute screamer and this is the result a 35 pound common it's in pristine condition look at that Well pleased with that. Right then, just had an absolute screamer, and the result is this bad boy. 38, oh sorry, <laughs> adding pounds on there. 32 pounds of Wells catfish, nailed me monster squid. I know they're not everyone's cup of tea. But I really do love catfish. I think uh, 
absolutely fantastic creatures are the ultimate predator and uh, I think it's just just another thing that Lobot's got to offer I'm really impressed with this lake so far I've been fishing less than 24 hours three carp now this little surprise package lovely stuff Me and Tony here just had a run at the same time, resulted in two pretty much identical fish. Two 40 pound commons. How about that? How's about that then, guys? Can you bring it in a bit closer, Mel? Now we're up about it because this is heavy. That's your maximum in getting. Get a load of this. Quick, Mel. Etang Labot, come on. That's enough. Take more camera on you. Whoa. Right. Check this bad boy out. It's uh, about seven o'clock in the morning. Just had an absolute screamer and uh, what you might call a titanic tussle. And uh, the result is this. If my tackle goes for the other lift it out. Nothing through the night, which was kind of strange. But then, pretty much first light this morning, another screamer. And this fella picked up my monster squid. What a beast. 43 and three quarters. Lovely. Say hi. Right, first fish of the day. 35 pound, very hard fighting. Etong de, ba de Bot. Carp. This was uh, caught about 20 30 yards out to the right of my swim. Two monster squid, 20 mil boilies. Get in there. Right, he's beat me up on the bank this one a bit, so uh, I'm going to give him what he wants and get him back in the water, hopefully, get another one. See you later. So, uh, this is my swim for the week, which is opposite the island. Um, I mean most people would probably think that it would be a case of uh, sticking out baits right tight to the island but that, that's not where I've been picking up the fish. I've been picking up the fish uh, either mid-water or about three quarters of the way out just by casting um, using Dave Jordison's recommended method of moulding paste around the lead and the hook bait and then moulding some particle into that paste uh, then spraying about 20 or 30 monster squid 20 mil boilies around in a throwing stick and you know that that's been the tactic for me so far so um it's now monday monday afternoon um due to some of the anglers over the other side not catching they've been moved to uh my right here there's now somebody fishing just to my right and you can probably just see in the distance there's a couple of lads uh fishing over that side now they're picking up a lot of fish now by using a bait boat to go right out to the island so that is working for them uh, action for me 
has slowed up. I don't know whether that's to do with the raise in temperature today or the fact that I'm not going out to the island with a bait boat or whatever, but having caught so many fish so far and such big fish, I've no reason to complain really. However, if the, uh, if the takes do vanish completely, then I'll probably get in the boat tomorrow and stick a load out on the island, but I'm quite happy with, with how I've done so far. Got a huge catfish on here. Just stuck out a little rod live bait and five minutes later it's rattled off. And there's not a lot I can do with this. They're using a four and a half pound test rod. 18 pound line on a dirty great reel. What did that go up to in here? Over a hundred. Here we go then, no We're personal need a bigger boat. <laughs> oh. Did the scales now, it's done, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah. It makes him look better at all. Get a shot at that beast in match, yeah? Yeah, that's right. He's turning around to have a little bite again. Let me go there and let me get that. Yeah. Yeah. Try and tilt it towards me a bit. Well, roll it over a bit more. Yeah. Roll it, yeah. Yeah, yeah is it? No, he's got it tilted back. That's yeah. better. Oh, that's a good shot down the god there now. Look at that. I think that's it. Right, okay. Right, we've got another big cat here. Shall I just grab this yeah. bit? Yeah, just oh, the mesh. Yeah, yeah. Rich, yeah. Mesh. Nice little cat. Look at the colour of that. Beautiful, oh, isn't it? You need a bigger mesh. <laughs> what size that's is that? Big, that's bigger than yesterday's. That is big. 68, yeah, it was right. 68 on the nose. Yep. Well done. There you go. Sorry. 68, 68 pound. pound cat caught Beautiful on a little fish. live bait. Collect. Wiped everyone's lines out. Sorry about that, boys. Yeah. You're not forgiven. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. Eh? And that's where people go when they're naughty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah! Yes, good one, good Ooh, one. That's a good one. Yeah, that's, a good one that's that. it. That's more like it. That's coming yeah. on big time, so baby. Go round, back round, yeah. sideways. That's brilliant. Yeah. Go sideways on. Go again. sideways on again. Like that. Sideways, yeah. yeah. Go on, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Keep Come going. On. Yeah. Look at that that's towel. That's yes. Lovely. Yes, baby. That's a cracking picture. Well done. Well done. Well done. Go. Well done. Well done. What do you mean? Well. Excellent. All right. Right, now we need Say to... your little piece for prosperity. Yeah. What do you reckon this place then, Mike? What do you reckon this place? Uh, without <laughs> swearing, I'm struggling to find a superlative for this place. <laughs> but I would say, absolutely bleep, bleep, awesome. Well done, mate. Nice one. Well done. Is bud. <laughs> right Dave, now uh, we've heard a lot about this paste and particle tactic that you use on here to great effect, so yeah. can you show us what it's all about please? Yep, it's quite a simple one, I use this in England as well and I've caught fish to over 50 pounds in England using it and smash waters with, you know, doubles, it's really effective on doubles and 20s waters and even big fish like, you know, it's uh, works everywhere I've tried it like and not many people use it. You can either use a little bit of corn, like a bit of fake corn, or a little 10 mil fluoro just as a sight thing like, you know. And then you just get a bit of paste, whichever, you know, this is black monster squid. I normally use red itself up, it's my favorite one. 
Right. Is, it, is it important to match the the paste with the flavour of the boilie? Because I'm using monster squid boilies. Not always, as well. because you can, I've used every every Nash paste I've ever used, the frozen one, got to be the frozen paste. Yeah. Why is that then? Because um, it sticks better. It's much. It stays on much better. Uh, and you put it around the lid, the hook bait like that. Yeah, and just keep your pop up on the outside. I'll, I'll, I'll pull this away first because obviously you get sealed better. You know, and it sticks better. And just pull that onto the top of it and do the same with your lead. I normally use a bit bigger lead than this, um, but a textured lead, coated lead, you know, it gives it more grip, obviously. But like I say, I, I normally use like um, slightly bigger, bigger leads or the, a lot of the method type leads, so it just stays on, yeah. Then this is the secret you get in the Right in your particle bucket, it's a little bit messy, but it's well worth doing. Big handfuls of particle and really wind it in with a bigger lead. You get obviously a much bigger lot of particle, a longer, longer lead's better than a little short lead like this. But you really wind it right in, and obviously, as it hits the surface, bits of this you get a little trail. Same with the up bait. And that looks, uh, don't look, <laughs> but believe me, it's devastating. And uh, I just want to say thanks to Glyn and Deb for this fantastic particle they do for us. It's worked really well for everyone. But that's the finished article. That does look quite up. And you cast it, it, it Always make sure the hook's out, yeah? Always make sure the hook's, when, you, when you've finished moulding it all in, make sure the hook's out. But you can do this with mi mini pellets, crumbed up boilies, uh, salmon fry crumb, and then what I often do, if you're fishing the method, put some method mix around the top of both again, yeah, over the top, if you've got some method mix, you're putting it in the boat, in bait boats, big nice cannonball like, yeah, do the same with a hook bait, I know it looks crazy, but you got, I'll, I'll put a big lump like that, and it, it's impossible to tangle, you can cast that a long way, Okay. Lovely, yeah. Well, cheers for showing us that. And I can I can vouch for the fact that this has been very effective. Ninety percent of the fish that I've caught this week have been on this tactic. So I think it's only right if we uh, whack this out and try yep. and catch another right. one. Okay. What do you reckon? Yeah. Give it a bash. Let's do it. First fish on the last day, and what a beauty it is! 41 pounds, pure common carp muscle. on the monster squid again. Lovely job. Nice one. Right, it's the uh, final evening of the trip now. I've retired to the globe trotter at the moment because uh, the weather today has been uh, pretty bad had quite a lot of rain and wind it's not been very warm so I'm just sort of sitting here nice and sheltered out of the wind um, and uh, starting to feel quite tired and feel the effects of this trip now uh, about three o'clock in the morning my friend uh, next door had a, a 35 pound common so I was up to, to photograph that Got back into bed about 10 minutes later one of my rods ripped off at a, at a small 15 pound mirror uh, which has been uh, the smallest carp i've had on the trip um got back to, off to sleep for a little while then tony next door had a 40 out uh, 41 pound common so i was up to weigh and photograph that <laughs> then i got back got back into bed for a little while uh, a few hours later i was then woken up by an absolute cracker of a 41 pound common that you've just seen a minute ago so I was well pleased with that it's my third 40 on the trip which I think is outstanding and again far outweighed my expectations of what 
might happen before I came out here. Uh, I'm going to do what I did again uh, yesterday, just before dusk, which was to basically fill in the area in, in front of the swim midwater with loads of particle and a couple of kilos of monster squid, uh, and then cast baits on top of it. Um, that worked last night, so there's no reason why it won't work again tonight. If it doesn't, so be it. I've had an excellent time on this trip, although I'm really tired now and, and feeling the effects of it, it, it has been absolutely brilliant. And I've got to take my hat off to, to Dave and Tim for making it such a great trip. And I'd certainly recommend that you come out on one of their trips with them to Le Bot because it, it's a great venue. They treat all the anglers really well. They do look after you. And the fish in here are just absolutely stunning. So, fingers crossed, get another one. If not, happy days, had a great trip. See you later.